NASA just picked up something they can't explain. A mysterious pulse coming from deep space. They're calling it 3i Atlas. At first, it sounded like random static, until scientists realized it repeated in perfect rhythm, like a heartbeat. When they traced it, the signal pointed straight toward Jupiter, not away from it. Then, records revealed it's been repeating for over 20 years. Now, NASA is silent. But one question remains. What if it isn't just a signal, but something more mysterious? The shocking discovery. In the quiet vastness of space, discoveries happen all the time, but some discoveries feel like mistakes that the universe wasn't ready for us to see. Earlier this year, NASA stumbled upon something so strange that even its own scientists hesitated to release the data. They called it 3i Atlas, a cryptic name for what many insiders now believe might be one of the most mysterious findings since Voyager's golden record left Earth. At first glance, the data looked like noise, random radio distortions captured by the deep space network. But the noise had rhythm. It repeated at precise intervals, not just seconds apart, but in a pattern that matched no known pulsar, black hole, or cosmic background signature ever recorded. The frequency was neither natural nor artificial. It existed somewhere in between, like a language that had forgotten its own speaker. Inside NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, the project started quietly under the codename Atlas Phase 3, referencing the telescope array that first picked up the anomaly. Only a handful of astrophysicists were given access. The rest of the staff were told it was just an equipment calibration experiment. But data logs later leaked online told a different story, one involving encrypted transmissions, system reboots, and something else, coordinates. When plotted, those coordinates didn't point to a distant galaxy or nebula. They traced a path looping back toward our own solar system, aligning perfectly with the orbital plane of Jupiter. That's when the mood inside the lab shifted. What NASA thought was background noise might have been a map. A map sent from something, or someone, observing us from the dark. By the time the anomaly became public knowledge, most of the data had already been pulled offline. NASA called it a software anomaly caused by cross-signal interference, but insiders weren't convinced. One anonymous engineer claimed that the readings showed structured harmonic patterns, too ordered to be random. Another mentioned that the system automatically rerouted power as if trying to amplify the returning signal, something no human operator had commanded. For weeks, NASA scientists stayed silent. Then, without warning, the 3 i Atlas project was quietly added to an internal mission list labeled Restricted Ongoing Observations. That's government language for, we found something and we're still figuring out what it is. And that's where the real mystery begins, because hidden in the archived telemetry logs, the kind used to track planetary probes, was a timestamp showing that the signal didn't originate this year. It was first detected over two decades ago. It had been there all along, repeating faintly across the solar spectrum. We just didn't have the right technology to hear it clearly. Now, with modern arrays tuned to new frequencies, the signal has returned, stronger, sharper, and closer. NASA won't say what they found, but deep inside the coded patterns, one phrase keeps showing up across independent analyses from outside researchers, Atlas Awakening. Whatever 3i Atlas is, it wasn't just discovered, it was waiting. Inside, NASA, the decoding. After the mysterious signal resurfaced, NASA didn't go public right away. Behind the scenes, a small team at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory began decoding the 3i Atlas data. They weren't just looking at sound frequencies. They were mapping patterns across light, magnetic fields, and even timestamps embedded in the signal itself. The more they decoded, the stranger it got. The data wasn't random at all. It had symmetry, mathematical balance that seemed too deliberate to be an accident of nature. When graphed, Parts of the transmission formed repeating wave structures, almost like an ancient code built from physics itself. One insider described it as, listening to a song composed by the universe, but with notes that don't belong here. 
At first, NASA assumed the signal might be a reflection from one of its own satellites. Maybe old transmissions bouncing off space debris or distant asteroids. But when they cross-checked orbital records, there was nothing in the path. The source wasn't moving like debris. It was stationary, fixed, as if anchored in space. The coordinates pointed to a region near Jupiter's magnetosphere, a chaotic zone of radiation storms that would fry most equipment. Yet somehow, this signal was coming from deep within it, unbroken, steady, and repeating. That alone defied logic. NASA engineers tried to trace the waveform origin using deep field interferometry, combining data from multiple observatories across the world. But every attempt came back, scrambled. Like something, or someone, didn't want the origin to be pinpointed. Around that time, staff began noticing system anomalies inside the Atlas data servers. Files duplicated themselves. Power logs reset at random. Even worse, several instruments began showing readings before they were even activated. It was as if the system knew what they were going to do, predicting commands seconds in advance. This freaked people out. Some started calling the project The Mirror, because it felt like the data was reflecting back their own activity in real time. Then came the big moment, the first successful partial decode. What appeared on screen wasn't words or numbers, but an image. A structured grid glowing in infrared, perfectly symmetrical, like a blueprint. At its center, three circular nodes connected by faint lines, the same symbol that later gave rise to the name 3i Atlas. NASA's internal documentation described it as a non-terrestrial geometric sequence with potential communicative properties. But that's the boring scientific way of saying, it looked like a message. That's when security got involved. Within days, outside access to the Atlas servers was locked down. The decoding team had to sign new non-disclosure agreements. One scientist was even reassigned after he reportedly tried to copy part of the waveform for personal analysis. The public never saw that image, not officially. But fragments leaked online through data mirroring sites, showing blurry snapshots of a lattice pattern that didn't resemble anything known in astrophysics. And here's the weirdest part. When digital artists tried enhancing the leaked image, many noticed a hidden symmetry that seemed eerily familiar. The formation looked almost identical to a structure humanity already knows well. The double helix of DNA, whether coincidence or communication, no one could say for sure. But inside NASA, panic was quietly brewing. Because if 3i Atlas wasn't just a natural phenomenon, then it meant something, or someone, was deliberately trying to talk. The global leak and NASA's denial. By the time whispers of 3i Atlas started leaking outside NASA, the Internet had already done what it does best. Connect the dots faster than any government agency could contain them. It started small. A data analyst from Arizona claimed he found unexplained patterns in publicly available telescope logs, readings that matched the same rhythm rumored from the Atlas project. Within days, amateur astronomers from Canada, Germany, and Japan were confirming the same repeating pulse across different instruments. That's when the rumor exploded. People online began calling it the alien heartbeat. The phrase trended for days. Reddit threads. TikTok theories and late-night radio shows all swirled around the same question. What was NASA hiding? NASA responded the usual way, with silence first, then denial. A short statement appeared on their official page calling the entire story a misinterpretation of test data and blaming it on public confusion caused by unofficial analysis. They said there was no 3i Atlas project and no evidence of any non-natural signal detected. But that statement only made things worse, because by then, the leak was far beyond control. Someone, no one knows who, released a compressed data package to an encrypted sharing network. Inside were hundreds of files, fragments of radio data, power signatures, and transmission maps. One file, dated over 20 years ago, contained a single text line. Atlas initialized, primary signal stable. That one line confirmed everything. The signal wasn't new. NASA had been studying it since the early 2000s, quietly feeding it through their systems without public disclosure. 
As independent researchers analyzed the leak, a disturbing pattern emerged. The signal wasn't constant. Every few months, its strength increased, almost like it pulsed in response to something happening near Earth. Solar storms, gravitational shifts, even space probe launches, all of them seemed to trigger a spike in the Atlas waveform. That correlation couldn't be ignored. Was the signal reacting to us? Within weeks, conspiracy forums and even mainstream outlets began questioning whether the data was proof of intelligent contact or something stranger. One theory claimed it was an ancient AI, a remnant from a lost civilization hidden within Jupiter's magnetic field. Another suggested it was a probe, not ours but from somewhere else, silently watching Earth for decades. Meanwhile, NASA tightened its grip. Emails from the agency's public affairs office instructed staff not to mention the word Atlas in any context, even in casual communication. Several online researchers reported their analysis posts being flagged or removed. But the most chilling leak came not from data, but from inside NASA itself. A short, muffled audio clip surfaced online, allegedly recorded during an internal Atlas briefing. A voice, believed to be one of the lead engineers, can be heard saying, It's getting closer. That line sent shockwaves across the internet. What did closer mean? Was the signal source moving, or had it finally started responding? For now, NASA insists it's all science fiction. Nothing to see, nothing to fear. But if you listen carefully to recordings released by independent astronomers, the pattern's still there. And just like a heartbeat, it keeps pulsing. Closer. And closer. Just when scientists thought the Atlas signal had gone silent, everything changed. One night, the pulse that had repeated the same rhythm for years suddenly shifted. The beat stretched, flattened, and then rose again, forming a pattern no one had ever recorded before. It wasn't random static anymore. It was alive. NASA's instruments automatically logged the event under a single line of code, Atlas Awakening. For almost 12 minutes, the signal broadcast a harmonic sequence. Tones that climbed in perfect symmetry, as if something was tuning itself. Then, just as suddenly as it began, it stopped. When analysts converted those tones into visual form, the results stunned everyone. The data revealed three glowing circles, the familiar 3 eye symbol, now surrounded by outward waves, almost like an eye opening to look back at us. That was the last confirmed transmission. The signal vanished completely after that night. Every attempt to detect it since has returned nothing but static. Inside NASA, panic met silence. All external communication was cut, and the project files were encrypted under the highest security clearance. But despite the blackout, independent observatories continued to catch faint echoes. Tiny whispers that appeared for seconds, then faded again. Some say the transmission wasn't a message. It was a test. A kind of handshake between civilizations. Others believe the signal didn't end. It simply switched frequencies waiting for us to find it again. Whatever the truth is, the Three Eye Atlas left one haunting legacy. Proof that the universe may not be empty. It might be awake. And maybe, it's finally decided to let us know. Whatever Three Eye Atlas truly was, a signal, a glitch, or something beyond our understanding, one thing is certain. It changed how we look at the sky. For decades, we searched for signs of life out there, expecting flashing lights or alien ships. Instead, we found a whisper, a pattern, a pulse that spoke in mathematics and mystery. Maybe it was never meant for us. Maybe it was a test, to see if we'd notice. And now that we have, the silence that follows feels louder than ever. Because sometimes the universe doesn't answer with words, it answers with waiting. So next time you look up at Jupiter, remember, somewhere beyond that swirling storm, something might be listening back.